Hey, what is going on guys? It is OG Gaming here and welcome to a, another video where I'm going to be showing you what my camera settings look like across the board and I might have a little mess with my other camera settings as well, such as my TV pod, my uh, TV pod offset and they're the only other two views that you can really mess with, so yeah. First off, we'll start with the cockpit one. I already have my preset ones for that, which I haven't tested out yet. Uh, I'll just run them fairly quickly. Field of view just changes, you know, oh, shit, uh, how far the thing is. I like to keep that at about 1, uh, 1.00 there. Um, offset lateral, that's for, I think that's for offset. Uh, offset horizontal, I keep that at around 50 because that's just about where I can see my wing mirrors. And I need to see who's behind me. Vertical, I keep that at um, 15. Otherwise, you're kind of hanging out the car there. So I keep that at 15. That's kind of like the realistic point. Um, and obviously, these two I don't really mess with. Angle and clip mirror, I kind of mess with slightly. Um, I keep that on about 20. And then 50% camera shake, 50% camera movement. Uh, and look to the apex angle is on four degrees and halo column I have left on this time so let's take that out for a test drive okay so we need to get in cockpit view that might be a half decent idea and get out on track looks like we're using the hyper soft tires today and we'll see what kind of lap we can put in in this camera view i'm liking it so far i'm able to see behind me uh i like that i can see the full halo i think it's quite realistic it feels quite realistic to me uh car does look a bit long i'm not sure if i'm a big fan of that but oh uh, well i want to go with the realism so let's uh come around the corner now into uh the lowest hairpin here and uh down on now to the tunnel section where Pascal Verline, I think it was, was pushed into the wall by Jensen Button here. And coming on now to the tunnel section and into the Novel Chicane right here as we come round into the corner, into the Novel Chicane through there. Looks like we're about nine seconds ahead of our previous time, probably because of the. Uh, traction control i've had it turned off recently so i've been crashing a lot i've been doing testing testing different uh things with my red bull so yeah for the red bull career so you'll see a lot of that coming up a few new setups coming out maybe but uh yeah you'll see kind of a lot of that so setting a 113 kind of uh decent i think we'll go around for another go and I kind of commentate over that. So this is lap two now coming into the hotel section. We've hit the wall a bit there. These Hypersoft tyres, the new tyres this year, uh, giving me a bit of a pace here. Into the corner here. That's where Nico Rosberg ends up screwing up Hamilton's lap in 2014. I think it was into the Lowe's hairpin. Now six tenths of a second up on our previous time. Almost going into the wall there, just about able to make it around the corner and in down now into the tunnel section, rushing through the tunnel section and uh, getting up now to the Novel Chicane round this corner without hitting the wall. Luckily, I always used to hit it in uh, 2016 and 2017. So coming round into the pool chicane, now through the pool chicane, tapping the wall slightly into another chicane and up into the Raskas turn and into the home straight now coming onto the home straight DRS flap is open we are d literally gonna get a better time but it's uh, not too much better it's not drastic so let's go ahead and go back to the garage and do our tire wear a uh, tire wear the other cameras and other bits and bobs okay so we're gonna go on now to mess about with other camera options so cockpit things you can go like that keep it off set kind of 
I'm just going to stick with the default stuff, so. Offset lateral, I think, mm, I think that does need pushing back slightly, or maybe even lowering a bit, um, lateral, um, I don't know. Sure, we can make it go down slightly. It's the lowest we can have it here. See how far we can push it back, kind of, to about there, maybe. Uh, stay the same, mirror angle. Stay the same, I guess. Camera shaking that you can just stay the same and everything. Let's go out and try that one out as well. Ah, I think I like that one a bit more. Let me know if you guys like any of these. Um, personally, I think I like this one. The one I've just created, so... I want to see if I can get it realistic. Uh, I'm probably going to YouTube it or Google it later. Realistic camera angles for uh, F1 games and see about that. But, um, yeah, I think I kind of like this one. I think it's very realistic with the car. I think you can see a lot of the car went right around that corner. That was terrible. I'll give you another lap to uh, make up for that one. But I think I definitely like that one. I don't think we need to change uh, this view. I think that's okay. I don't think we need to change anything. But this view, the new one, I might need to push it forward maybe. Oh, I've hit the pole. I'll give you a better lap next lap. But um, I think I like this one definitely 100%. And I think this one's going to be here to stay. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think of both these camera angles. And, again, I'm going to give you one more lap and it's going to be a quiet one so i'll probably add some music into the background so So I put in a 112.982, thank you guys for watching, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later, I guess I'll give you one more quiet lap, just for effect and I'll leave the music on. Thank you guys for watching.